In SwiftUI, to navigate from one view to another view, we use Navigation Stack. Think of Navigation Stack as a stack of plates, where each plate represents a view in our app. When we navigate to a new view, it's like adding a new plate on top of the stack. We can keep stacking more views as we navigate deeper into our application. And to add a new view on top of the navigation stack, we use something called navigation link. With navigation link, you can navigate to new view in your application. And also you can pass data from one view to another view. Let's create a simple example to understand how navigation stack and navigation link works together to create a smooth navigation for our SwiftUI application. So we have this simple example application. We won't be needing any of these. So let's delete all this and let's call our navigation stack navigation stack. And inside this, let's create our root view, which will be home view or main view, whatever you want to call it. So let's say main view. And now let's create main view because we don't have main view. I'll create a simple vStack and inside this, let's create a text. Welcome to main view font. Let's keep it title and let's give it some padding. We'll just give the default paddings. And now let's create a navigation link. Let's say from the main view, you want to go to a detail view. Let's say there's a button and on click of this button, you want to go to next view. So to do so, Let's create a navigation link and with navigation link, we have different options. So let's select this one first, destination and label. So in this, you'll have to give your destination. So let's say our destination is detail view. Of course, we haven't created detail view, so we'll have to create that. And for label, you can give any type of view. So you can have a button, you can have a text, you can have an image. And on click of that image, you will be navigated to this destination. So for the sake of simplicity, I'll just create a text which will say go to details screen. And now let's create our details view as well. Detail view, which would be of course a struct and forming to view body. Let's just give a text saying hello from detail view. This is it. This is what we have in our application. So now if I click on this, go to details screen, this will call this destination calling detail view. So if I click on it, it will go to hello from detail view. I have added extra W, let's delete that. And it has refreshed, go to details screen. So as soon as I click that, it is adding a new view on top of our navigation stack. Now, if I create a new button over here and do the same thing, like create one more sub detail view and create one button and do the same thing what we have done over here and on click of that button, it will basically add another view on top of our stack. So you can create deeper level of navigation using navigation link in your application. So this was one way of using navigation link. It, it was very straightforward. But we have another way which is using navigation link with data type and that gives us more flexibility. So let's create another navigation link and then instead of destination label, we'll be using value label and value is hashable. So this value represents to the data type of the detail view. So in your detail view, whatever data type you're using, you can use that over here in your hashable and then the label is simply the same thing what we did over here, the text or button or image on click of which you will be navigated to your destination view. So instead of destination, we'll be navigating to new view using a data type. This gives us more flexibility to create multiple navigation links instances presenting different data of the same type. So let's see how it works. So we will do value and label over here and let's comment this one. And over here in our detail view, 
let's say that we want to pass some data over here so let's say where text and instead of hard coding this we can pass it from our main view so it would be of type string so as i said this value is nothing but the type of the data which you have in your detail view so it could be anything it could be a string it could be integer or it could be of your custom data type so you can create a new struct which should be hashable because this value needs to be hashable so any data type which you create and which you want to pass on from your navigation link to the new view when you're navigating you need to make sure that it is hashable so as of now our detail view just have this text string and instead of this hard-coded text i can just call text over here and over here i need to pass the value which i want to see over there so let's say i want to see hello again the same thing hello from detail view and then label would be the same label what we used over here so we'll be just using our text so let's use that this won't work till now because we need to bind this value this data type with our navigation stack so we do that to do so we need to create dot navigation destination let's select navigation destination and we and we will be using this for destination this for is nothing but our hashable value which we used over here so the type of that hashable value and then destination is nothing but our detail view so let's select that and our hashable data type is string dot self and then our destination so this would be passing our string this is nothing but our value which we have passed over here so let's call it text and then in our destination we'll just call detail view with the text which we just got so now if we click on this go to detail screen it is going to detail screen with our data hello from detail view and you can do it for different data types as well and for different destination so let's say I want to go to different destination from here, not just one detail view. Let's say I have different, many other detail view. So uh, how do I do that? We can create our custom data type and we can do so using an enum. So let's create an enum and we will call it destinations and which will be of type string and we'll have different destinations like case, Let's say we have a profile view and then we have settings view and then we have um, yeah details view which, which we already have. And as we discussed over here to make it work with navigation link it needs to be hashable. So let's make it hashable and since we'll be iterating through all of these cases let's make it case iterable. Now in our VStack before this navigation link, let's iterate through all of these cases and create navigation link for it. So we'll use for each and let's do this one, data, ID and content. For data, we'll be using destination dot all cases. So all of these three cases and then for ID, I can use slash dot self and then for content for each of these screen we will create a navigation link so let's create a navigation link and then we will use this value and label one for value we will be passing our screen itself and for label let's create text and we can use our screen raw values so we have profile view, settings view, and details view. And now for each of these to work, we need to create our navigation destination to tie our data type with our detail view or whatever view you will be navigating to. So let's create our navigation destination and hashable type. So our data type is hashable, so we can use that. So destinations.self. Then for each screen, 
we will navigate to a new view. So the screen is nothing but enum and for each screen we can navigate to different view. So when user click on profile view, you can navigate to new view. So instead of creating different views, I'll just use this detail view and just pass some different text. You can create different views and then navigate to those views. But for the sake of this examples simplicity, we'll just use this detail view. So let's create a switch case for our screen. So for detail view, we will go to, to details view with our text and in our text we'll, we'll just pass the screen value. So we'll say hello from And I can just copy paste this for three times. Let's remove this default case. And let's call it profile view and settings view. Actually, I don't need to type this hundred of times. I can just do it like this. That's it. So for all of these views, we are just going to detail view with the name of the screen, which we are getting from our navigation link. Again, you can create a different detail view and then different profile view and then different settings view and then go to different view for all of those cases. For the sake of simplicity, we are just going to detail view with different text. So let's test it out. So if we click on profile view, it goes to hello from profile view. Let's go back and then go to settings view, hello from settings view. Let's go back and then go to details view, hello from details view. So remember what is happening every time we click on it, navigation link is adding a new stack onto our navigation stack. And every time we click on back, that last view which we added on the stack, it's, it's being popped out from the stack. And then we are back to our root view. So this is how we use navigation stack and navigation view in SwiftUI to navigate from one view to another view.